Hi everyone, welcome back to Bit of Buzz. Today I'm going to be showing you the essentials for any burlesque performer. So let's get started. Okay, number one for any burlesque performer, you need to have a feather boa. You can get these on Amazon, it's really quite cheap. There's loads of websites you can get feather boas at. So um, they're really easy to find. And I really love this one. I think I got this from John Lewis actually. I really love the colour, it's really nice. Yeah, so this is a feather boa, if you didn't know it already. And this is one of the essentials uh, for any burlesque performer. Okay, number two for a burlesque performer, you need some gloves. And if you can see these well on here. Yeah, you need a pair of these gloves. I mean, I say you need, you don't need them, but these are what burlesque performers use. So I'm going to just put these on to show you. Here we go. These are some lovely sort of silky red gloves. You can get them in loads of different colours. Again, these you can get on Amazon, very cheap. I think you can probably get them for about $4.99, something like that. You can obviously get ones that are more expensive as well. <clears throat> but definitely, if you are just practicing at the moment, I suggest getting a cheap pair. So if they get holes in them, if they get ruined, it doesn't matter. And you can just use them for when you're practicing your acts. So here are the silky gloves. Okay, another item that you might need for being a burlesque performer is stockings. Obviously, I'm sure you all know what stockings look like. Here are some of mine. These are actually hold-ups because they have this sort of stuff here, um, which, I don't know what this stuff is called, but basically it holds the stocking up on your leg so it doesn't roll down. But to be fair, when you're, when you're doing burlesque, it's sometimes actually easier to have stockings with um, suspenders so you can undo them and pull them down easier than with these but these are good as well you know you can use these for practicing with and again if they get holes in them it doesn't matter because you're just using them for practicing another essential for a burlesque performer is a corset like what I've got on today this is a corset but this one I've got on is a zipper corset but this one here that I've got has got the little fastenings at the front and then at the back, it's got the laces. It's actually quite a nightmare to do this one. It's really hard and it's sort of, it's got metal boning in this one, which does really hold you in, but it's not the best thing for performing in because obviously you want to be able to move around a lot. Okay, so obviously underneath your corset, you might want to have on a bra. Um, so then it sort of makes the tees even longer if you've got lots of clothes on underneath that you can keep taking it off. So this one here, I actually made for an act. I was Rudolph the Red Nose Radio. I actually started as an elf and then I turned into Rudolph and I used, and I made this one myself. I literally, sorry, it's sort of falling apart a bit now, I need to fix them. But I just basically got a, a bra from, I think it was Primark, I bought like a red bra from there and I sewed on loads and loads of sequins just to give it a bit of a unique look because that's um, that's the idea really with burlesque. You don't want to, it's great to go and buy a corset or underwear but you don't want to end up being on stage with somebody else who's got exactly the same corset as you on. You need to be able to do something to it to jazz it up a bit to make it unique and special to you. Okay so another item um, I've mentioned earlier in my videos is pasties um, and you can also call them tassels which are these these things here. Yeah, a lot of burlesque performers wear these. You can get them, I think you can get them in Ann Summers. You can probably get them online and you can also, also make them as well. In another video I'm going to show you how to make these. But literally, you've got a little piece on the back here and you stick some of that bra double-sided sticky tape onto this and then you stick it on and it normally holds on pretty well. So there's some tassels. Another burlesque item that you can get also is a fan. Yeah, this is just a literally a little tiny fan that you can probably get for about 99p. This is one that I use with um, people that I teach for pen parties and things like that. We use these types of fans. They're great for practicing with, just getting used to holding a fan. So I'm going to show you my fans now. These are what I bought, I can't remember how much they were now. I think they were about £175. These, these are the big ostrich feather, oh, I can't say it. Ostrich feather fans, and mine are purple. Purple is like one of my favourite colours. And, whew, you're going to be a similar. Hello! 
yeah, these are my friends. I don't know. Sorry, these are so big. I don't know if you're actually going to be able to see these on camera. I'm going to try and hold, hold it like that. So here we go. These are great because you can actually hide so much under a fan, and you can undress yourself and be hiding everything, so nobody can actually see anything. They know you're undressing, but they can't actually see anything. So they're really sort of cool. <laughs> There we go, and there's the big showgirl fans. Thank you for watching, and hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a little bit of an insight into burlesque and some of the things that you might want to purchase if you want to start a burlesque class maybe in your area. Those are the sorts of things that you would probably be using in class. Please remember to like and subscribe to Glitter Buzz. Thank you for everybody who has already subscribed and liked my videos. I really do appreciate it, and I really hope that um, you are enjoying them and you're getting out of them what I want you to get out of them. That's about it. I'm going to be quiet now because I think I'm going to lose my voice. Right, take care, everybody. Bye. I can't see it enough. I can't read it enough. Well.